And hello everyone, hope you're all doing well today. This is Peter, once again, and I have another video for you. Um, as you can see here, I have some new pens. I believe the brand is pronounced Lamy or Lamy, L-A-M-Y. Um, I bought them at some little shop I found downtown, and I think I probably shouldn't have. They were probably a little bit too expensive for what they do. I mean, they really just draw lines on the paper, just like all the other pens I own. But uh, really, when it comes down to it, I'm just a sucker for pens and buying new ones. So that's what happened. I walked in into the shop looking for something else completely, and I sh saw these shiny new pens under the glass at the counter. And that was it. It was over. I had to get them. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to use them for this drawing because I bought them, so I have to use them. And, you know, they're fun. They're fun to use. They're fountain pens, so it's fun to switch it up a little bit sometimes. Anyways, I want to talk about something cool that happened in my house the other day. Um, I live in Chicago. I moved here recently, as many of you know. And the, uh, the Chicago Marathon happened, like, two days ago, um, which was really cool. And the route went right next to my house, like, um, I can hear it from my room sort of deal, like that close. Um, it was, and it was awesome, like, it was all just like really inspiring, like, all of it, not even, uh, well, I mean, like, of course, seeing all these runners, I think there were about, uh, 45,000 people that ran in it that day, um, just seeing all these different people, like, different nationalities, different types of people in every way you can imagine just running their hearts out to run these what is it like 26 something miles across the city or I guess it's more like around the city and um I don't know it's just really really cool and inspiring and motivating but not just the runners but to see to walk up and down the street and see all these people um in my neighborhood standing there cheering them on just the whole vibe and atmosphere of the event uh was really cool to see them cheering on all the signs the music that was being played you know people had drums they were playing there were like little bands there were like djs people handing out you know you know they had like those all those little stations where they hand out water and gatorade people handing out you know bananas cut in half and oranges you know <laughs> there was even some people that set up and uh they were handing out you know had a big sign they were handing out cups of free beer for marathon runners and uh, <laughs> i don't know you know how helpful that would be really if you're running a marathon but uh i thought it was funny and really it was just all just the whole experience was just really uh inspiring but ultimately just very very interesting i could just uh i just spent a few hours out there just wandering back and forth just looking at everything that was happening and i had a great time but anyways so here's another drawing for hashtag inktober or whatever it is um so far inktober has been pretty successful for me i've drawn a ink drawing almost every day of the month so far I think every day I've drawn something with ink, and um, I don't know if that's happened before. Usually I take, you know, a day off every now and then, if that's what I feel like doing. So um, I guess that's what Inktober is all about, you know, establishing good habits or something where you draw a lot. I don't know what'll happen after Inktober's over. Hopefully I'll keep drawing every day. Um, maybe I'll just slide right into ink. November or something yeah we'll see um one cool thing i have been doing since i moved to chicago is i bought a membership at the art institute of chicago which is a really cool art museum downtown very uh, prestigious and uh, just you know like well put together there's some incredible stuff down there and i um I signed up for like a members sketch drawing class there and it's not as much like a class as it is like a group 
drawing session. Like, I don't really know how to describe it, but I've only been twice. It's like every, it's like once a week for eight weeks, and I've just really enjoyed it. I think I'm, there's only like one other person my age there. It's mostly a, like, well, I was about to say it's mostly adults. I guess I am an adult now, but um, it's mostly people that are older than me, but I've been really enjoying it. Basically, we just go, um, and we sit around and look at some of the art there for a couple hours, usually just one or two different pieces. Um, and there's a, like an instructor, um, and we just discuss it. She like kind of gives us some guided instructions and we draw some things. And it's been good for me, for me partly because, um, I haven't just been drawing with ink pens like I normally do. Like I've been doing some stuff with pastels and charcoal and stuff like that. Um, but just, um, it's been good for me to sit down and draw with some other artists and talk with them. Um, and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I just want to share that with you guys. And also, if you ever get a chance to go to the Art Institute of Chicago, I would also recommend that. Anyways, thanks for watching another video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Bye.